The what the fuck? <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome to this, uh, I guess this is more of a walkthrough on pro difficulty of Hitman Blood Money. I got Brandon here, this is his, his uh, pretty much his first time experiencing Blood Money. Hey. Fuck. <laughs> that awkward <laughs> gap. He's making fun of how I fucked up the intro and I, I cut that part out and now he's making fun of me. Um, so we just got done with Hitman 2016. Uh, that was a lot of fun, but I was fucking addicted to Hitman Blood Money in high school. One of the first things I ever did on this channel like eight or nine years ago was a walkthrough of every stage on Pro. And that's pretty much unwatchable now, because that was a long time ago and on horrible quality and I wasn't funny. And now I'm slightly less not funny, and so we're gonna just do this again, except for this is Brandon's first time experiencing almost every single level. And, uh, yeah, you can take this as a walkthrough on how I do all the stages on Pro, or I might just fuck up. We'll see how it goes, but I'll try to leave good takes in. Uh, so, let's start a new game. This is gonna be starting fresh, so we're not gonna be going through with, like, already upgraded equipment and, what, and uh, whatnot. So we're gonna dry bread and we are starting with the tutorial stage cause you have to. And it's plot reasons anyway. Oh, I forgot how hey. <laughs> Maria awkwardly stops as it saves. There we go. Oh, well. <laughs> I wonder what happens in this scene. Now you see my memory had told me that the background of the main screen changes between every level to get more and more spoilery. I did not remember that it started off like this, um, but it does change in between stages, yes. Um, yeah. Yeah, so we were on a fresh save file, and just to confirm, uh, uh, subtitles on, thank you. And everything else is good. Everything looks good. Okay. Uh, why is, re wait, what? why is render quality almost at max? What's above ultra high? Wait, there's something... Oh, no, it's just custom above that, uh, oh. which isn't actually different. And screen resolution is not max because it doesn't actually support my monitor size, so I just have it at uh, 920 by 1080, which is the nearest standard definition. Standard yeah. HD, you know what I mean. We're old, and standard definition used to mean something else. It used to mean 4x3. Anyway, uh, you pick difficulty on this menu here, so we're pro. So you can't save during stage... AI advanced yeah. behavior, which well, well it didn't a look it. Mm -hmm. The AI didn't age the best, <laughs> uh, but the game is still really fun. Minimal agency assistance, which it still gives you more than I'd like. Notoriety in effect. Notoriety is a pain in the ass and not a very well built system, but you'll see what that is soon. Evidence impacts rating. That's fine. It's if you get caught on tape and stuff and statistics upload available, which I believe is you could upload your score online. Unconfirmed reports of an accident at Southland Park. I can't find my boy! Hundreds of family members gathered outside the deserted the park today to commemorate the second to tell the full investigation of the park's safety. Authorities procedures. report at least 30 deaths and close to 100 Five years injuries. since the tragedy closed the gates of Southland Park, but new evidence is claiming form. malicious prosecution and believes Says he'll be he's vindicated spent every at last. penny of his fortune so defending legal himself Eagles from these Green lawsuits. Team defending Southland Park all over oh God, There were people flying everywhere. It was Body bars. And the victim's Blood. families oh have God. vowed to appeal the decision. Not guilty. Cleared of all charges. Bring him back, 
I would uh, like to place an order. I want a pizza with <laughs> pepperoni only. Yeah, it was completely unrelated, that entire scene, actually. <laughs> That's the twist. Now, is this how he naturally walks, is in slow motion? Yeah. You'll see that okay, very good. soon, actually. <laughs> Ooh, this My doesn't look good pre-rendered. Slow motion. Yeah, it really doesn't. Oh. <laughs> Ignore the really badly voice acted quiet guy. We're skipping him. So this is the actual game. It actually looks pretty nice still. Um, in this tutorial stage. In this tutorial stage. <laughs> so you played, you played this stage, right? Yep. And that's, uh, you never played past that? Now, I have a quick question before we move onwards with anything yep. else. Welcome to the States, 47. This should be a straightforward operation. We need you to penetrate an abandoned amusement park, locate the owner, and take him out. The target is a Joseph Clarence, also known as Swing King. An accident involving one of the rides at the park a few years back forced him to close it down. Our client has made a special request that the photograph you have in your possession be the last thing the target sees. Mr. Clarence has somehow become involved with a narcotics distribution ring, so the park may still have some amusements. Enjoy the ride, 47. Okay, what were you gonna okay. say? How did a Ferris wheel kill 36 people and injure over 100? I don't know. Um, you'd think people would either get crushed or fell from that high. I feel like the death count would be higher and the injury count would be lower. I feel like both numbers would be lower. Well, I don't know. It fell into the park. If you're, yeah, but this is, can't be that big. It's on a, it's on like a, like a pier. Fair. And if you're on the bottom of the Ferris wheel and it falls apart, your little cabin thing just falls and hits the ground, like from like 10 feet up. Maybe Who we cares? missed it. Maybe the other side of the Ferris wheel just kept rolling like downtown and like and careened through people. the city. <laughs> yeah. All right. This is the dumbest part, I think, of this whole mission. Yep. The tutorial mission is kind of stupid. What the fuck you looking at, Kraken? I'm here to see <laughs> Joseph Clarence. <laughs> Never heard of him. Mr. Swing King. Oh, that sorry ass to hear. What the fuck they call you? Names are for friends, so I don't need one. <laughs> oh. Uh, oh, they were trying to make him so cool by making him say that, but it just yeah. makes him look like a, such a dink. Yeah, there, there's hit and miss moments in this game with that. Um, Names are for friends, so I don't have one. What the fuck you looking at, cracker? <laughs> so, uh, you'll notice the UI is absolutely fucking minuscule. Um, this game wasn't originally made with 1080p in mind, and then no. my monitor's even bigger than that. We start with almost no equipment here, but you don't really need it for the tutorial. Uh, in fact, I actually need the coin, the infinite coins, yep. which I love. You need to do this part of the level. How they don't see you right now, I don't understand. Oh, I don't know. They're dumb as shit. You missed. Yeah, it doesn't matter. You can actually, now on Pro, you can die in the tutorial, and it's not even that hard to die in the tutorial. Okay, kill the gangster. We can just use a fiber wire. Uh, it's actually really not that hard to die in the tutorial on Pro. There's a few points where it can very easily happen. Unfortunately, one of them is right before the exit. Don't die there. Yeah, yeah, it sucks if you do. Um... There aren't really any fancy kills I can show you in this stage. By the way, something people usually don't notice there, he actually has two guns on him. If you pick up both, you get uh, double the ammo. That's why I have double the ammo right now. Huh. Oh, it oh. wants to be the holster of the gun. I'll do that in a second. Also, I like the uh, the climbing animation there where sometimes your hands aren't on any rungs. They're in the space between. Yeah, well, this would have been really, really impressive for, I think this game was 2006. Like, this was way ahead of its time. Hitman games before Absolute... Actually, you know what? No, even Absolution. Most Hitman games were way ahead of their time in what they were able to do. It's pretty impressive. So here's another thing that, uh, that people don't often know. F1 is first-person mode, and it's actually really useful for shooting. 
Um, all right, I gotta huh. pick the lock, and I should auto switch back into it. I think. He, uh, yep. Yeah, it's actually really useful for shooting in uh, sequences like that because you can't switch your camera from shoulder to shoulder. Oh. Yeah, so you're always in the center. So for peeking around corners and stuff, it's actually best to use. Um, it's best to use first person. By the way, uh, chests and stuff in this game hold one body. I know in the new uh, ones they hold two. And you can't put people in closets. You hide in closets. But you can't hide in, like, freezers and stuff. Another thing. Um, you fired off a shotgun inside this building. Everyone in this building would know you were here. Oh, in a normal stage, yes. Like how the chemist runs in and just drops his ID on the ground. Oh no! My glowing ID! Huh. There we go. I could have just killed him, but I knocked him out. I was nice. Uh, He's so only that's, a scientist. So that's one of the best ways to get non-lethal takedowns on people without them seeing your face is... Um, oh, I gotta take his clothes as well. He's in T-pose. Uh, is uh, just human shielding from behind with a one-handed gun. Huh. So why is there a key card in this building? I don't know. Uh, it doesn't none of this lead you anywhere <laughs> important. Well, they're like making drugs and stuff here, but really none of this place makes that much sense. This, I also just like how they stuff. set that up. There we go. Just Look, there's it. a gun and a tray. What yeah. do you think you do? Well, it says at the top what to do. You just put it in there. Where we put yeah. it, I don't know, because there's no space to hide it there. And just wait. He's got to uh, use a metal detector on us. Now, he clearly checks the crate, but if you have the metal in a crate, it doesn't count. Alright, you cool. You'll also notice the audio, Aight, balance, you cool. uh, the audio balance is really bad in this game, too. I might yeah, it finagle it between episodes. I just thought I would have one episode of how it naturally is, just to kind of show how the game is. Um, Alright, let me get my pistol back. And I need the oh fiber Oh my god! Water. That's what that little money, noise is. Sweetie. It's as good as mine already. Mr. Spook's got it. We'll open the park. It'll be like old times. No, no, just a few more days. You gotta believe me. Don't say that, Sunshine. Mr. Spook's gonna come true, baby. He's good for the money. I won't sign the papers. I won't. You gotta give me one more chance. You gotta. Baby cakes? Sunshine? Hello? Oh. Impressive. There we go. Alright, so I need the fiber wire for the next part. Uh, cause you can strangle people in elevators. Doesn't show it, uh, but, you know, it'd be pretty hard to show the wire going down, getting around the throat and all that crap, so I don't really blame them. Also, you can get more ammo off basically every guy that you kill in this stage. Not that you will need it, hopefully. Okay, to get through the next room, you need to break the utility box. But you know how Hitman games love putting, like, weird out-of-place comedy stuff? And I love that, yeah. too. Like, I think that is an integral thing of the seriousness of Agent 47 mixed with the goofiness of the situation. Why are all the drug workers wearing, like, thongs and bras and running into each other and moving in unison trying to look around? I think that there's something about making meth or something where you need to not get any, any on your clothes or something. I don't know. Really? He's gangster's yeah. human shield. All right. Well, he's midstream. Now, they want you to use that uh, there, but you really don't need to. Uh, you can't first let me person. Put my dick away. You can't first person while using a human shield. And this is a common that. place where people die. Because even if you kill all the people here, there's a chance someone in, in the previous room will hear you and shoot you while you're on the ladder. Nice. Oh, shit. Yeah, this is a very inaccurate gun. You can put it right on their face and miss sometimes. All right, let me uh, reload real quick, because I don't know if they're following me. So you'll notice in the bottom left that there is a health meter as well as an alert meter. The alert yeah. meter is notoriously glitchy. Uh, it's often just wrong. Okay, we'll just dump him there. It looks like nobody heard. 
Um, it's notoriously glitchy. It's often just wrong. Glitches often happen where it will get locked on maximum, but nobody actually knows. It's uh, It's been a while now, uh, Scoop, and I was just wondering uh, where we were on the whole money thing. Were you? Yeah, see, the thing is, if you remember, you know what we agreed to was it'd just be a short while and you'd pay in cash and... Uh, and uh, I know the what the pressure was you were under must be, but the deal is a deal, and I was hoping, you know, maybe you could just pay what we agreed on, even though you've been here for heck, more than twice as long as we agreed to, but, but just pay the original amount and move on. Not right away, necessarily, but, you know, I'd appreciate it. No. No. <laughs> but Scoop, Scoop Dog, <laughs> who isn't supposed to be modeled after anyone else for sure. All right. Uh, yeah, right here is where you could also die. Um, if anybody had heard, sometimes they have such a delayed reaction, they'll start shooting you here. Um, and it really sucks if that happens because you're already quite a while in. All right, let me uh, get the sniper. This is another part where people tend to get lost a lot. Um, oops. Ah, God, it, X, that was it. Um, they don't know where the three guys you need to kill are. One is right here. You can just shoot them anywhere and they'll die. It's a really powerful sniper. Uh, one is right here. I got him in the ass. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Aww. See, no, no. That confirms what? that the other side didn't roll away. Oh, it's, it's right there. there. Okay. Uh, and, and, then the, and the other one fell towards the water. Oh. Oh, that's confusing. There's no way look, that that many people got hurt. Look, Brandon, a lot of people were swimming at the time. All right, G to drop. I don't need to carry that with me. But it me. didn't land in the water. It's way above. Th this whole situation of people dying is bullshit. All right, if you go out here when the three people are still alive, you'll just get shot to death. You can just drop off of this and you'll be fine, but it says to climb down the really? damage pipe. Uh, yeah, I think you take a little damage, but it's not enough to kill you. Oh, so that noise when you change objectives is really annoying. Yeah, it, you it's uh, it happens a lot in this because it's a tutorial, but, uh, you know, soon you won't need to really worry about that. We're almost on stage anyway. Uh, this is another part where it, it if you're being reckless, you could get caught, but it's not that hard to avoid if you know where you're going. Why there's a poison syringe there, I don't know. Isn't this where the blonde chick is? Yeah. Yeah. Bitch like you don't need no fancy wrapping, do she? Depends who's unwrapping me. God damn, girl. I'd have your fine ass unwrapped before you could say, Who's that handsome stud on time my river? I bet you could. Oops. <laughs> That's Uncle Joe. Better get back to your post. All right. Uh, here's another easy place to fuck up. If you're a little bit off on your angle, you could end up just pushing him right into the door frame and he'll just turn around and kick your ass, which is really funny. Uh, I'm going to play it um, really safe and not give him an opportunity to turn around there. Um, um, every time you push that, someone over a ledge, by the way, it counts as an accident kill. That conversation was funnier to me than it definitely was to anybody else because his voice kept, get, kept getting cut out like it was like white noise. Oh. So he was just going, eh, bu uh, it did weird. Uh, it. Yeah, we're recording this in a weird way. Um, I'll, I'll make it louder between episodes on your end so that that doesn't happen. But her voice came through fine, so. Weird. She didn't there unscrew the lid. You, nope. Again, 2006. <laughs> there were limitations and that are funny now. There we go. And then they die. Almost always to T-Pose. Um, <laughs> Their our, arms just gumby the outwards. Are you? How'd you get in here? Carol Ann! My client has hired me to show you this photograph. I don't understand. My client has asked me to ensure it's the last thing you ever see. Please, look at the photograph, Mr. Clarence. No. And yes, Brandon, I do have an overwhelming urge to play uh, that stupid fucking song by Nickelback, because it's funny, but I will not. <laughs> 
the what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> okay, normally you have like an elongated kill if you use the garrot wire that looks really cool. That was a uh, glitch that happens pretty much one in ten times you use the garrot wire, where you just fling it immediately because the angle didn't line up. It breaks their neck and they flail around, and it's fucking beautiful. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Clarence, I'm really happy that I, this happened. is the last photo you're supposed to see. Now let me whip my arms around and you will die. <laughs> now why there's a mine and a detonator here again, I do not know. Uh, this is the final part of the stage, though, and it's another really easy place to die if you're not very careful. Uh, make sure that you've been picking up a lot of pistol ammo. Because there's a, you're going to drop a thing on them and they die, but there's a chance a couple might survive. And that sucks, because then you got to shoot them with a really bad gun. Listen, they're going to Gumby all over the ground, and everything's going to be fine. All right, uh, detonator. Also, don't stand next to the fucking mine when you do this. Right there, and I'm just going to switch to my gun. Is anyone still alive? Wow. Shoot the girl, shoot the guy, shoot Snoop Dogg, I mean, Scoop Dogg. See how shit this gun is? Okay, right on her head. Ugh. I'm just gonna go down and execute her, she's a witness. So, uh, yeah, Scoop Dogg didn't die. So he, uh, he would've shot me, he's got a gun. Alright, there's your tutorial stage. I think we got a cutscene? Oh, between every stage you can, uh... Ooh, sorry, my mouse sensitivity is crazy, crazy low on menus compared to the game. You can, like, read all this, and there's little jokes as well as, like, information about the case and everything. Wow. Yeah, it's it's pretty cool, actually. But do the other news articles actually say things relevant to them? Yes, every single one. Wow. Yeah, it's awesome. That was a weirdly loud newspaper. It was, wasn't it? Again, the audio balancing in this game is very strange. Um, I think we can actually progress, and there's one more thing before the next stage. Yeah. So, Dumpster Star Hideout. This is a place you can go in between any, any stage if you want to. It's largely useless. I think the idea is you could, like, practice guns and stuff in here if you want to. Uh, however, I have literally never found a reason to come back here. Either than to see that uh, Agent 47 likes his pet bird. So we're going to go and we're going to see the cutscene for the next stage as a uh, teaser for the next episode. Okay. Present day. What is this? The new Hitman? Yes, this is the new Hitman. They predicted it. The young Hitler youth arrives at the, at the mansion. I just, I'm, I'm just trying to decipher what the fuck is going on. That haircut. Yeah. Rick Henderson, first edition. He's expecting you this way. Rick Henderson, first edition. What are you, a book? Yep. He's a rare shiny trading card. Oh. Rick Henderson. I've been looking forward to this. As have I, Mr. Alexander. Don't let's stand on ceremony. Call me Jack. Rick. Make yourself comfortable, Rick. No, he said I'm Jack. <laughs> God. That's the quality <laughs> joke you get on the show, folks. <laughs> Real journalism. Thanks. I thought we'd start with your thoughts on the White House attack, then discuss your tenure as director of the FBI, post-retirement reflections, whatever, and- Rick. Or if you want to sound off on politics. Rick, my apologies. This interview about me is just a cover for a more sensitive story. I'm sorry to have lured you here under false pretenses, but I couldn't risk a leak. I'm not sure I understand. Don't worry. It's the scoop of the century. If I had a dime for every time I heard that. Listen, please. It begins with a little incident at a vineyard in Chile that caught my eye some time ago. This was a family business. Fernando Delgado and his son Manuel. Well-liked, hard-working men. 
Have a look at the folder. Oh, I was ready to crash for a second. Oh, what a cool laptop. <laughs> it's so necessary that you have a laptop that opens itself. <laughs> Why is it so small? Hello, 47. Your next target's in Chile. His name is Fernando Delgado. Used to be a colonel in Pinochet's intelligence service. Now he's running a cocaine factory under cover of a vineyard. Satellite imaging suggests the lab is underground. Fernando's son, Manuel, is on the coke trade. So to make it look like a drug hit, you'll have to take him out too. We'll get you in with a pensioner's club from Santiago for the big celebrity unveiling of Delgado's new wine label, named for 80s B-action star Rex Stanton. There'll be at least one TV crew on hand, so keep an eye on them and their cameras. Delgado's got a seaplane, and that may be your best way to get out in a pinch. God damn it. Every single time she takes a pause to say her next line, it's just long enough that I think she's done. <laughs> okay. Uh, thank you everybody for watching the first episode then. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you like that little teaser for the next episode. I will warn you, this is, we're going to the first proper level of the game, and it's... One of the levels with the least reliable strategy by me on how to beat it. So, uh, I might have to get creative with editing on showing you both uh, humorous failed and successful runs, but it wouldn't surprise me too much if I get it on the first uh, time through. Also, there's an infamous glitch in that stage that everybody has a hard time trying to figure out how to fix. I will show you how to fix that glitch. Uh, because I actually know how. Until next time, have a nice day. See ya.